the Suzuki GSXS1000 GX Plus. Good grief, a lot of letters. Wow, the seating position is more aggressive than my Versus. That's what I'm going to be comparing this to. It's an inline four, 1000 sport touring bike. So, I mean, the bike I own is probably the perfect comparison to this. So that's what I'll be referencing a whole lot. 999cc inline four engine from Suzuki that they've been making for quite some time. I expect this to have more pep. I believe it does have more horsepower than the Versus. So uh, uh, engine stats up now, boop, and here we go. Oh my gosh, it responds quick. It is ready to go. Yeah, my feet are up tight on this thing. And this is a firm seat. So I think this has a little bit more sport than the Touring. <laughs> Although this probably could tour just as easily. Obviously we're not testing out all that on a demo ride but ergonomically it feels really good easy reach to the handlebars uh, my feet are up higher than the versus it doesn't feel quite as tall as the versus but maybe uh oh nobody wants to stall their bike on a demo ride <laughs> Let's go. We gotta keep up. We gotta keep up. I guess we're not gonna keep up. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, the guy was right, the quick shifter on this, very nice. I think it was that guy right there, uh, he said they didn't even have these bikes on the demo tour until like, what, two weeks ago. I didn't think they would be out here because this bike was just recently announced. Very good quick shifter, yes. So, A plus on that, Suzuki, good job. This does have a smaller stock windscreen, so you're gonna feel a little bit of wind. I'm feeling a lot of wind on my helmet right now, so an aftermarket wind, or if they have a tall windscreen accessory, that may be the way to go. But really no surprise, inline four cylinder engine is gonna be super smooth. This GX is no different. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the seat. It's a little bit more uncomfortable. It's a really firm seat. And got a couple pressure points so I'm not thrilled about that but this thing has all the gadgets cruise control electronic suspension traction control etc etc so this is your big boy growing up bike oh my gosh the quick shifter down is super smooth If we can only get that one car out of the way, we'd be back in formation. <laughs> the sport touring bikes like this one, also like the Versus 1000, sometimes they can be classified in an adventure category, but they are not, they are not off-road bikes. These are to knock out miles on the highway. And I think for that reason, they kind of fly under the radar because people are wanting bikes like this to be, you know, have that off-road potential. That's kind of the big trend now. <laughs> yeah, this engine can, this engine can go. So yeah, these are sport touring. These are, you wanna knock out a lot of miles. You wanna go on adventures like distance wise. But having that sport DNA to have fun too. But even uh, kind of hitting some revs there, it's still super smooth. I mean, I'm not revving it super high. I'm not a high revving type of person. 
I have been uh, impressed with Suzuki recently. We, uh, <laughs> sometimes the people in our circles, we kind of ragged on Suzuki because they just keep doing the same thing year after year after year. And it's like, oh, bold new graphics. That's what's different. But just the past couple years with the new parallel twin, uh, the GSX-S 8S and the 8R and now this guy using the 1000 uh, in light 4 uh, and the V-Stroms as well the new V-Stroms, P-Stroms like Suzuki's made a, a good effort to kind of refresh their lineup and I think they've done a great job yeah, it's easy for me to get my feet down but I'm six foot two on these taller bikes so I'm if I say it's easy to get the feet down be like okay wait a minute how how tall is the seat height really this light is yellow go through it okay so I guess the million dollar question or I guess in this case the nineteen thousand dollar question do you get this bike or do you get a versus 1000 if you're looking for power if that's the bigger factor for you get the Suzuki if you're looking for a little bit more comfort and ergonomics go with the Kawasaki if you're looking for features either one <laughs> they both are loaded with technology electronic suspension etc the inline four characteristics of both are going to give you a smooth performance just eating up miles on the highway commuting to work anything in between same thing guys if it's yellow go ahead and go through it okay so honestly i think it comes down to personal preference in kind of which characteristic you really want if you're looking at a bike like this if you're wanting to do anything off-road if you're wanting an off-road adventure bike uh, not this. Look for the V-Strom. Go look at the Africa Twin, things like that. If you're staying on the pavement and you want to knock out miles with some sport DNA in it to hit twisties, uh, that can be a fun weekend bike. It can be a touring bike and it can be a commuting bike. Uh, the Suzuki and the Kawasaki Versus, uh, both are great options. Yeah, I am getting a lot of wind. If I got this bike, the first thing I would do is change the windscreen because uh, I'm getting a lot of wind on me. And again, if you're wanting the performance edge, you go with this one. If you're wanting a little bit more comfortable ride, a little bit more leg room, go with the Versus 1000. We are in an age where I don't think you're gonna find a bad bike. I don't know if luggage comes standard. A great machine. I think I would still keep my Versus, but one, because I already own it. But I think I like the Versus styling just a little bit better too, with like the, the headlight assembly and, and all that jazz and more wind protection. Ergonomically, my feet aren't tucked up quite as high and the seat's a little softer. And so that's why I would lean to uh, the Versus, but maybe that's not a big deal for you, so. So who would buy this bike? This would be someone if you are a uh, if you own a leader bike right now, sport bike such as a Jixer 1000 and R1, and you're starting to get a little older, and your back is starting to say, "Come on, man, <laughs> help me out here." A bike like this would be like awesome, and, and I, I joke about it, but at the same time, seriously, you're still going to get a lot of performance from this machine golly this quick shifter's so good it's just it's like it auto clutches for you fun ride super nimble it, it, this bike didn't feel heavy at all well big thanks to suzuki for coming out here to moto america at road atlanta 
offering these demo rides. I get to test one of the latest and greatest from Suzuki. Awesome bike. So if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments. I'll see if I can provide some feedback on that. Or if you have one of these bikes already, let us know what you think.